Good evening, Holy Trinity. Will here, just getting ready to pray evening prayer with you all. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. As usual, I am very grateful for a chance to be able to pray with you all, even through our screens here. So if you have a prayer book handy, we're going to start on page 116 with the confession um, and then move on on page 117 with the rest of the service. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's sing the uh, O Gracious Light, the Fossiloron, which can be found on page 26 in your hymnal, number 26, O Gracious Light. O Gracious Light, Lord Jesus Christ, in you the Father's glory shone, immortal, holy, blessed is he, and blessed are you, his holy Son. Now sunset comes, but light shines forth, the lamps are lit to pierce the night. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit God. Who dwells in the eternal light? Worthy are you of endless praise, O Son of God, life giving Lord. Wherefore you are through all the earth and in the highest heaven. Our psalms appointed for tonight are Psalms 81 and 82. That's page 704 in your prayer book. 704 in your prayer book. Psalm 81 and 82. Sing with joy to God our strength and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the merry harp and the lyre. Blow the ram's horn at the new moon and at the full moon, the day of our feast. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. He laid it as a solemn charge upon Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I heard an unfamiliar voice saying, I eased his shoulder from the burden. His hands were set free from bearing the load. You called on me in trouble and I saved you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder and tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him and their punishment would last forever. 
but Israel would I feed with the finest wheat and satisfy him with honey from the rock. Psalm 82. God takes his stand in the council of heaven. He gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and show favor to the wicked? Save the weak and the orphan. Defend the humble and needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Deliver them from the power of the wicked. They do not know, neither do they understand. They go about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Now I say to you, you are gods, and all of you children of the Most High. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, and rule the earth, for you shall take all nations for your own. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Truth is lacking, and whoever turns from evil is despoiled. The Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no justice. He saw that there was no one, and was appalled that there was no one to intervene. So his own arm brought him victory, and his righteousness upheld him. He put on righteousness like a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation on his head. He put on garments of vengeance for clothing, and wrapped himself in fury as in a mantle. According to their deeds, so will he repay. Wrath to his adversaries, requital to his enemies, and to the coastlands he will, uh, he will render requital. So those in the west shall fear the name of the Lord, and those in the east his glory, for he will come like a pent-up stream that the wind of the Lord drives on. And he will come to Zion as Redeemer, to those in Jacob who turn from transgression, says the Lord. And as for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit that is upon you and my words that I have put in, my, in your mouth shall not depart out of your mouth or out of the mouths of your children or out of the mouths of your children's children, says the Lord, from now on and forevermore. Here ends the reading. Let's sing the Magnificat found on page S242. This week, we'll skip that antiphon. We'll just start right on the first verse. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Our second reading tonight comes from us from the Gospel according to John. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law, in your law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent, who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him, because his hour had not yet come. Here ends the reading. All right, Rabbi, teach, Rabbi. <clears throat> Let's sing the Song of Simeon, the Nuke Demidis, found on page two, S253, S253. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. <clears throat> that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. 
that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit and the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, the peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, for our second week in February, we're going to sing another spiritual that we can find in the 1982 hymnal. Um, this is number 648. When Israel was in Egypt's land, or as I know it, go down Moses. It's a good old spiritual. I invite you all to join me, even if you don't have your hymnal. Uh, one wonderful thing about these beautiful spirituals is that a lot of them can be picked up just by listening, right? Just by ear as, as a repeating refrain or a, or a simple little response that might come back over and over. So. When Israel was in Egypt's land, then my people not stand, let my people go, go down to Moses, way down in Egypt's land, tell old Pharaoh to let my told Moses what to do, let my people go, to lead the children of Israel through, let my people go. They journeyed on at his command, let my people go. And I came at length to Canaan's land, let my people go, go down to Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell all.
Now let's just take a moment to reach out to God in our own ways. However, we feel moved to pray tonight, uh, aloud or silently, wherever you are, in your kitchen, living room, in the car, just know that we're praying together, um, even through this screen, and that God is listening. I invite your own prayers. Great God of mercy and love, we lift before you all those concerns of our hearts, all our griefs, all our sins, all those things that weigh us down. We also lift to you all our joys, all our thanksgivings. Most of all, we lift our faith to you. We lift our hope to you, Lord, that you strengthen us in our faith, that you strengthen us to walk in your ways every day, even when the darkness seems too much to handle. Allow us to see you, God. Allow us to see you not only with our eyes, Lord, but allow us to see you with our hearts. Make our spirits new. Make our spirits ready. Make our spirits open to see your love see your hope and to see your life. All this we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. All right, let's pray together the prayer of St. Chrysostom tonight. That's page 102 in your prayer book. Almighty God, you have given us grace with this at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, y'all, as usual, a real pleasure um, to be able to pray with you online. Um, y'all keep praying. Stay connected with each other. Stay connected to God. It really matters right now. Um, and hang in there. I know this is, this is a long winter in more ways than one, uh, but y'all keep hanging in there. All right, I'll see you uh, in person or online. All right, be blessed. See you next time. Bye-bye.